Happy Monday, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Uh, it is the pre-show show. It is. We're getting ready for the Boris and Robin show. Meat sandwich is here. Boris is I'm also here. Boris, Robin Taylor's in the other room getting yep. ready. As always. Uh, and we got a pretty exciting show this morning. Of course, we're going to announce the uh, three final finalists in yes. the Funniest Person in the Hudson Valley contest. Very cool. Uh, we were down in Chester on uh, Friday night for uh, round two. Yes. Uh, we had uh, eight very funny comedians uh, take the stage. Yes. Uh, but only three of them can go through. We're going to find out this morning. And to help us make the announcement, we're going to be joined by one of the first round of finalists. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, Pete Vino is going to be oh, in cool. with us this morning. Very nice. Uh, you might remember, if you went to the first round, you probably remember him. You, you guys voted him through to the finals. <laughs> He's a very funny so guy. So hopefully you remember him. Uh, hopefully. So, so uh, he'll be here today, too. But I had a good time on Friday. It was a pretty good yeah, show. Yeah, it was a good show. It was good. And uh, there was a, not a uh, angry heckler like there was. Yes. At <laughs> Mahoney's. Not. Things did not go south this time, which is nice. It ended on a high note, which yeah. is great. So, uh, so that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun on uh, on Friday. Yeah, it was a good show. Uh, today on the show, uh, besides the uh, the big announcement, we also have Doctor Love, Doctor oh, Evan, yeah. Evan Goldfish is going to be in. Uh, he's going to be talking about one of the most painful things that can happen to your junk, <laughs> which is a great way to start Monday. You know, Monday yeah. morning's a kick in the groin anyway, so <laughs> might as well uh, get right on into it. Uh, so we've got that going on, and the, the WPH Workforce Payroll. Continues. Uh, we got another code word for you today. Yeah. Give you a chance to uh, double that uh, share of ten thousand dollars. We're giving away. Not bad. Pretty cool. All right. So you had a good weekend. Yeah, pretty good weekend. Uh, yeah. Hung around, went to the movies, went to a emo night at the Chance. Uh, is really. <laughs> I mean, it, sa it says emo night. It's more like pop punk songs in the mid two thousands night. Um, okay. So that's more of my. If it's all like, you know, did you wear eyeliner? No. no? Okay. <laughs> I was there in like a flannel. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it is flannel season. It's yes. very cold this morning outside. It is very it's cold. Morning. I wore a t-shirt, but I should have worn more. <laughs> yes. I should have worn more. Uh, well, that's a nice emo night. Yeah. Hanging out. It was cool. Hanging out there. I uh, had a very different uh, weekend. Yeah. Um, I was up uh, Saturday morning at 7 o'clock out get, getting uh, pictures taken for my son's soccer team. Okay. It was soccer picture day. <laughs> and they do it right before the game, and he had an 8 o'clock game. Oh, man. And if you were up at eight o'clock on uh, on Saturday, you know it was pouring rain. Right. Oh, it was the worst. It was freezing cold. <laughs> Kids are out there shivering, <laughs> standing on the field. They were already late because it was picture day. Right. And then two of the kids on the other team didn't wear cleats, so they had a whole big meeting. Like the kids are just standing out there, <laughs> and and they had a whole big meeting to decide whether the, they should forfeit the game, really? or whether they should play, they're not wearing cleats, the whole thing. How they, serious is this they league? Had, apparently very serious. <laughs> My son doesn't even know which goal to kick towards, <laughs> and whenever the ball comes towards him, he does this move. <laughs> but, you know, they had to make, so they had to call the league president. Really? And he had to come, some judge showed up, and they had to call. Really? Yeah, it was a whole big Who thing. Who's the league president of, like, a six-year-old soccer league? I don't know, probably some 12-year-old. I don't I have no idea. <laughs> so then they were standing there in the pouring rain, and then they what, they play for, like, five minutes, and they're like, oh, we're going to call the game, because it's <laughs> the rain. Oh, I love soccer season. Love it. <laughs> Uh, that was my day. Yeah, it sounds horrible. Yeah, it's great. Uh, oh, what are we doing for our 745 contest this week? We got uh, Would Robin Rather? Is think, that what we're playing? I think that was the thing. You just left a blank there, I see. I know, because yeah. I, I know what we're talking about, but I think Robin in the promo said we were going to play Would Robin Rather. I think she did. So uh, we'll do that today. We've got to come up with a, uh, a tricky question for Robin. And then we, we I forget what we have to give away. We I think we're to the food truck festival. Oh, that's right, the food truck festival. That's a great prize we have to give away. Yeah. So, so that'll be happening uh, this morning, too. So we'll get to all that. Hopefully everybody has a great week uh, week ahead. Yeah. we got some fun stuff happening here on the show. Very much. I'm getting a haircut today. What the hell is this? That's weird. I'm getting a haircut today, too. You want to go together? Where do you go? I go to Cuts Plus and Hopewell. Oh, no. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I've never been there. I'm sure it's very nice. No. All right. So uh, we'll, we'll be on the air in a little bit. Be sure to tune in. What the, the hell is going on with this? Yes, I look like What's that? What's happening? I don't know. It's like weird hair thing like here. Oh. Well, I'm going today for a haircut, so. All right. All works out. See you on the air in a little bit. Thanks, everybody.